Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. This is episode 29 of my creation kit series. Now this episode is going to be quite a bit shorter than my last two episodes. Uh, my last episode was actually really long. I had a lot of parts to it uh, explaining how to make custom weapons and armor and the one before that was two hours long as it was a tutorial on how to create a custom standalone follower using Ashers to Ashes Make a Follower Kit which it's had over a thousand views and I've been told that it's the most comprehensive custom standalone follower tutorial on the internet and I, I don't know I just made it so anyway this episode we are going to be doing a little bit of scripting and just a couple little cool scripts I wrote I've been doing a little bit of scripting learning how and I've learned I learned how to do a couple of on activate scripts now the first one I made um, I, I was liked it so much that I made a mod called trash cans of Skyrim which you can find on the Nexus just look up the mighty nine you'll find all my mods um, and basically what it does is, is you put your your trash in the trash barrels my completely non non lore friendly trash barrels with the graphic on the side of them of, of the trash can yeah but I caught some flack for that but I don't really care um anyway and you put your trash in them 24 hours later the barrel resets the trash disappears now that script actually has two uses so we're gonna do both of those also I did an on activate so that when you activate an object a door a container you know whatever you can set it for a sound to play okay we're gonna do that first so what we're gonna need first is we're gonna need a sound marker now I have one I made for uh, my Thunder Mansion mod but I'm gonna go ahead and make a new one show you how this is done so we'll go ahead and right click choose new and we are going to call this 000, zero. I don't need that 000, zero, zero RLB test sound marker okay and then it'll let you pick what your sound is now I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use a thunder sound uh, because that's why it's thunder mansion is because you hear thunder in the mod so we're gonna use that so that's gonna be my test sound marker I got that made that's great okay now I need to go to my test cell and I'm probably gonna catch an error for this so oh no I didn't amazing I thought maybe it would catch it catch give me warnings but it didn't okay we have over here we have let's check this here okay yeah uh, over here I have a little test barrel that I put in here uh, seven guard barrel I retextured I have me a little test chest right here and right over there there's a door and we're gonna do the door first so we'll go ahead and we'll go up to this door and for this one you're gonna wanna just go ahead and click right on the door open it up right there now you're gonna wanna add a new script and now these scripts I will put a link in the description to my Google Drive and the scripts will the two scripts will be on the same same page there so okay we wanna add a new script we want to extend object reference that's exactly what we want and we want to rename it I always start with underscore because creation kits funny that way um, and we're gonna name this one test sound script yeah that's good so we'll go ahead and let that come up and while that's taking its sweet sweet diggity time here we're gonna open that up and edit the source we're gonna go ahead and put that marker right there at the end and I'm gonna go ahead and open up my notepad plus plus I have 
the script wrote out on my notepad. Um, basically, this first part here is my credits. Uh, I asked that if anyone uses my scripts. I wrote these scripts, so they're my scripts. If you use them, just leave this in the script. And basically what this does is on activate, it activates object reference, the action reference, which is the sound property for Apocrypha Thunder. And then it says init uh, initiate instance ID. And it says, basically it's telling the game to play this sound effect. And then it sound set instance volume. Instance is set for one, which is full volume. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to grab that part of the script. I don't need the top part because I already got it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to paste that right into this right here. Go to compile, which if you use control 7, it's or control F7, something like that. Compilation succeeded. Excellent, excellent. And we'll go ahead and save that. And it is saved. Okay. And now we have to fix the properties of it. So click on properties, click on the Apocrypha Thunder sound. Click edit value and it'll tell you to pick an object. Now I made a test sound marker right at the beginning of the video. That's what I'm going to use. OK. OK. And that is done. So we'll zoom back over here. This is just my test cell. It looks just like Thunder Mansion just totally gutted out. So we're going to do the barrel and the chest. The barrel is going to be a junk bar for like a junk barrel. And what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go to my barrel and put the script on the barrel in the object window, not on the barrel in the, in the render window because it won't do it. So I'm going to go ahead and let this load up and we'll, we'll get continue with that. Okay, and now I got everything loaded up here. I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to find my my test barrel and my test chest right here we're going to do the test barrel first so we'll go ahead and open that up now I'm just going to want to I, I don't want to have it respawning and there's nothing in it so I'm going to add my script to it I'm going to new script and this is going to be underscore zero 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 RLB test junk script that sounds good that works for me you name it whatever you want to and it will take a second and it comes up right there I want to go to edit source let that come up click on the end right there and then I'll go back to notepad plus plus and my junk barrel scripts right here same thing Please leave the credits in it if you use my script. Basically what this script does says if the event on initiate it registers for a game update time update game time which is 20 hours. You can set that to 24 hours. You can set it to whatever you want it. And then it says on the event on the update game time self reset. That means that that object self resets and event and the object reference property new property auto so we're gonna go ahead and we are going to copy that like I said there will be a link in the description to my Google Drive with these scripts on it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to paste this in here like that and I'm going to compile which is control F7 not control 7 it's control F7 and it is succeeded so I will go ahead and I will save it and as soon as it's saved there we go now I want to move that to the side just a little bit just a little bit 
because I need to do the properties for this script. So I'm going to click on where it says new property, click on edit value, click on pick reference and reference window, and double click on the barrel, and it, you'll see it comes up here. It's the test barrel. That's set. Okay. Now I'm going to open my chest up. Now, the the reason I'm doing it for the chest is I'm going to go ahead and click new and I'm going to put some gold in it just for shits and giggles 100 gold here we go and I'm going to add the same script which is test junk script I'm going to add the exact same script to it and then I'm going to hit this and basically what this does hit your property here pick your reference which is the chest basically what it does is anything that's in the in the inventory of the container it automatically resets it every day and that's done we'll push OK on that so that looks good we got that there we got the door done everything's good there let's go ahead and save the mod okay it's all saved now I'm going to I'm going to we're going to go in game and I'm going to show you that this stuff works. Okay. Here we are in my in my test cell. And we're going to go over here to the chest first and search this chest right here. Got that gold. I'm going to take all that gold and this test junk barrel. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put something in there and I got some firewood in here that I'm gonna add all four pieces of that firewood in there and I'm going to wait and I'm gonna I'm gonna wait show you that I'm waiting the whole I should only you should only have to do it for 20 hours with the script you can like I said you can set it for whatever you want I'm gonna wait 24 hours and of course my Frostfall is going to go off and say, oh, you're hungry and thirsty and, well, my I need. I'm not going to get cold in here because, uh, yeah, Thunder Mansion is amazingly warm. It's very, it's very Frostfall f friendly. Yes, you guys are going to like it when it's done. Okay, it's almost done here. And there we go right there. All right, now. The test barrel should be empty. It is. All that firewood is gone. And the chest should have refilled. It certainly did. There's another hundred septums. Now, putting that same... What happened to the sound of my fire? Just like all of a sudden stopped. I don't know. But that that script putting that script on a chest is good for like supplies, uh, crafting supplies, stuff like that. You can have it reset daily. Now, what's supposed to happen when I open this door? We should hear the thunder sound. Yep. And since I don't have a uh, auto close script on this door and I actually have to activate it again the thunder sound will go off again there it is right there and that's all there is to that guys alright alright guys this has been episode 29 of my creation kit series and yes Thor looks a little different but that's okay um, Remember guys, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, then share it on social media with your friends as it really helps out the channel. And don't forget to hit that hit that bell so that you can receive notifications of my new videos. And until next time, guys, remember to keep your sword sharp. Don't be a milk drinker and always watch the skies, traveler. <laughs>